pray, have experienced the Holy Spirit, please raise your hand. In the two times you pray, everyone <coughs> stop praying now. In the two times you pray that you experience the Holy Spirit, please raise your hand high up. Raise your hands high up. Look around. See, you all can experience the Holy Spirit. You all can have the anointing. But the matter is how to increase the anointing, right? Okay? Now, I want to say the last word before we uh, depart. I want to say is, uh, please be seated. How to go? For many people, the problem is they just don't have the courage to use it. The first problem is not willing to pray, not willing to spend time. Just think of evangelism just as a work to do instead of as a relationship with God. When we love God so much, we want to do something that pleases God. It's like husband and wives, you know, the wife is very happy when husband would find something that wife likes. The wife will be very happy, right? Or the wife finds something the husband likes, then you'll be very happy. That, you know, when you do something, God is happy. Then he's very pleased with you. So think of evangelism as something that you bless someone, but also God is very happy with. And also it can bring eternal change, blessing to this person. So the thing is, overcome your fear. You need to pray every day. Lord, please take away my fear because his soul, what is more important, his soul or my, my uh, face, my feeling, which one is more important? His soul is very important. And when you pray for one person, and that person comes to Christ, and then you start doing it more and more. Many people have stopped evangelism because they have failed. But if you keep doing it, you try it, but sometimes you might fail, it's okay, but practice with Christians first. Practice with Christians and ask them what they, they have experienced. And when you pray with Christians, you, all, you can also raise up the spiritual life. You say, you experience the power of God that comes to you. Are you willing to pray for other people who have this power of God come upon you? Are you willing to spend more time praying and you can be used by God to bless many people? Amen. So you encourage them to be used by God. I have raised up many people like that. And on the internet, you go to YouTube, and you look for Pastor Yip, Y-I-P, just as it sounds. Y-I-P, and also Facebook, Pastor Yip. And you can find my videos and many testimonies, and many are in Chinese, but then also uh, there is an English revival sermons. And uh, also my contact information there, and you can also send message there, and I can respond to your needs in ministry. Uh, the main thing is overcome the fear and do it, and pray more to have the anointing, and you see that, wow, I can change people's life by the power of the Holy Spirit. And also, if in a meeting, a longer prayer, and everyone wholeheartedly pray, and you lay hands on people, and some people will experience strong power of God, and they may start to cry, or fall down, or fill with joy, or burdens go away, or demons go away, then you see, wow, I can carry great power, and in the meetings, so many people change. Now, this may not be suitable for the Sunday worship, but you can do it in some other time. And then you do it in the mission field, go out to different places. And then you find that you can do great things. I'm going to different countries and bless different countries. So you can see videos with English translated into another language. How different people in different countries experience the Holy Spirit. And you can too. Do you believe that? Yes. And this point I want to ask you. How many people can you think of? Now after you practice with Christians first, you practice with Christians. And then you go out and pray for people. How many people you think of that you can start praying for them? If you think of one person, raise one thing, finger, five, five fingers, ten, ten fingers. In more than ten, you raise up your arm like that. Can you think of how many people that you can pray for? Like in the school, there will be so many, so many, so many. And the parents, so many. So can you raise up your fingers to represent how many people you can think of that you can pray for and lead them to Christ? And you try it. You find that you will succeed in some of these instances. You can bring some of these people to Christ. How many can you think of? Can you raise up your hand? And then stand up. I invite you to stand up. And open your mouth and pray for these people right now. Pray for them name by, by name. Lord Jesus, bless them. Save their souls. Help them to go out. Help me to go out. To do a and raise up spiritual life. Oh Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, use our life. Break use our life. Take the way of grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come and bless us. Use our life mightily.
Now, in conclusion, I'd like to lead you in a prayer of grace. Now, this is also an part, important part of my teaching, is to live in the love of God, the grace of God. Many times Christians feel weak or unloved or unimportant. That we can always declare the love of God for us every day and really believe that. And that will raise up our faith and our relationship with God. And you can follow me in this prayer, okay? Let's mm -hmm. say this after me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me. You are right here now. You are right here now. You are in front of me. You are in front of me. And you are behind me. And you are behind me. You are laying your hands upon me. You are laying your hands upon me. To bless me and to raise me up. To bless me and to raise me up. I'm precious in your sight. I'm precious in your sight. Thank you for your great love. Thank you for your great love. I'm very precious in your sight. I'm very precious in your sight. I'm like the apple of your eye. I'm in your bosom. I'm in your bosom. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me all the time. You have a wonderful plan in my life. You want to use my life greatly. You want to use me to bless many people. Thank you, God, for this wonderful plan. Thank you for this wonderful plan. We are very important in your sight. Yes. We can do great things for God. We can bless many people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I can enjoy you. I can enjoy life. I can enjoy evangelism. Hallelujah. And I can enjoy heaven forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now this is a prayer of grace, it's declaring the grace of God, the blessings of God to increase our faith. Every day when we wake up, we say, I'm loved by God. God is loving me. God is blessing me. That way, when we start out the day, we'll feel happy and joyful and confident. And then when we do ministry, even when people reject us, we say, Lord, the Lord is happy with me. It's okay. Even if I fail this time, God remembers that. And when we do evangelism, when we fail, we still glorify God. Amen. One day when a person comes to God, God will say, this person, this Christian has already witnessed to you, but you didn't believe. But he has done his part. Amen. What he has done has glorified my name. Amen. So what we do, we glorify God's name. I hope you start to do it. Amen. If you start to do it and train other people to do it, Amen. this will start a movement. Amen. So I said to Pastor Lucas, yes. this teaching I give to you yes. and to every one of you, for you to free to use, no copyright. Just share with people and train them to use it, and you can bring a revival. You'll be surprised how many people you can bring to Christ. And then when they bring people back or, or uh, try to use this, and then you ask them to come back to church and share, and then encourage them. When they bring anyone, everyone go to welcome them. That way it will build a momentum for evangelism. And then you also train them, and then lead them, take them out to do it, to visit a family. When I visit someone, I pray for every single person. Yesterday, pastor's younger sister treated us with dinner. I pray for both of them. I also help them with their faith. That's how I am, always. Pastor never asked me to do it. They did not ask me to do it. I just approached them. I pray for them two times, two separate times, and then a third time I went up to share with them more about the teaching of God. That's how I am, always want to bless people. You want to do that? Amen. And then God will be pleased with you and God will bless you and raise you up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.